coming live in stereo sound. Stereo, stereo. Stereo, stereo. Right, right. Um, I'm not starting the show again, so I always seem to start the show. No, I'm not starting it either. Oh, come on. Come on. Run, VT. Hey. Sweet boys and girls. Who are you and where do you come from? Ian McKenzie. Welcome to the house. Rock Show. Thank you, thank Just you. Big in the game, Ian. Big in the game. Big. So oh, uh, for those of you that, for those people that have been living in a cave for the last two years, ten years, who hell you? Uh, as you just said, Ian McKenzie, I'm the CEO of the Guild of Property Professionals. Good stuff. That sounds an interesting club to be in, doesn't it? Well, there are 800 agencies nationwide who remember them. He represents them. It's yeah. like a club of estate agents. So tell us a bit about the Guild then. Well, cracky, you've almost done it. Um, <laughs> it so uh, that is it. It's yeah, that's it. Agencies, <laughs> we represent a nationwide. That's as good as it gets. They that's pay it. me money each month, and then that's it. That's oh, cool, that's it. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, yeah. for me. Yeah. So, what does a guild? What is a guild member? What What, what is it? If Chris and I sign up, yeah, if yeah, you want to be a guild member, right? So, so you get exclusive. You get commercial advantage. They're not estate agents. They're not. Well, they don't know. know. <laughs> There's no sale. You don't even understand what that means. Let's <laughs> pretend. Let's pretend. We, get, we don't understand agents. what commercial advantage is. Okay, right. So you get commercial advantage. You get uh, you get exclusivity within your town. Yeah. You right. have to sign up to a strict code of conduct, uh, a redress scheme, and you have to get take off free PI insurance. So that will save you money in the first okay, place. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get one of 38 different services. There's loads of services from marketing, IT, uh, compliance, and revenue. So you make more money. So we'll earn okay. your money. We'll save you money, and we'll make you more compliant. We are. Uh, Friends with a few of your guild members. Um, you know, we've worked with uh, Adam Helen, McKay. Adam McKay. Adam Love Adam. Uh, great. Friend of the show, show. Friend of the show, 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 show. show. <laughs> As is uh, Steve Wayne. Uh, yeah, off great guy. Hi, Steve. Uh, who we might hear from later in the show. <laughs> and also uh, Helen Dobson. Yeah. Um, in in Newcastle. Yeah. Very. Where, where our good friend John Paul off of the Castle Dean. Indeed. Comes from. Why ain't it? Right. So Ian. Ian's been in the state agency for over thirty years, and there's not many people who've got a, a, such an impressive CV. In length and width, Where than this man been? here. He has worked for Countrywide twice. Uh, how are those shares doing, Chris, by the way? Uh, I think they're about 11p, mate. Excellent. Oh, <laughs> well, you're making money now. <laughs> have you made, how much have you made? 20 pounds? Uh, no, I think I've made about two pounds. Excellent. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Awesome. Might be 20 quid, actually. <laughs> yeah. okay, okay, I've lost eight grand, that doesn't matter. <laughs> but I've made 20 quid. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> Bugger off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm not going to tell you my story on that. <laughs> okay. So, Stay quiet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. So, so he basically uh, started off on the on the ground floor. He's worked his way up. He's been area manager for the Halifax. He's been regional manager for Countrywide. He was one of the actual uh, Countrywide bosses that brought in the internet offering yeah. uh, to the branches okay, yeah. and, and basically has now ended up running the, the guild which is kind of like a an organization of 800 estate agents that all come together and, and work together as a we were club. there um the conference, the conference, conference tail end of last year. Yeah, it was, yeah. Um, good, good show. Great event. We met Ian Dowie. Yeah, hilarious. we did. Hi, Ian. Hi, Ian. <laughs> Hi. The, he's in property, actually. He's in property, he's yeah. Yeah, we had yeah. some great photos. It was a great event, actually. And, and what was good, I think, um, was to see so many agents. Um, that, that event wasn't really salesy. It was a real, a real information event. Yeah. It was like a celebration. It was really good. Agency. It was really, really yeah. good. Yeah, that's what that's what we try. We try to help agents. So we're the head office that agents have never had. So we've really just tried okay. to look after the independent. So it, I've been 17 years an independent and 15 as a corporate. So I still consider myself an independent. And yeah. we just look to help help agents out. As a non estate agent yeah. um, or letting agent are there such not, people not, well we, we we don't do that um, he'd be sad what do you do <laughs> we make awesome video content <laughs> nationwide um, what would you what would you um, <laughs> We haven't bought that Bring plug back. yet. Oh, we haven't bought the plug. Could you go down to BQ? Do you we know? Have. But thank you, Stephen Brown, for the crumble. Where's oh. the crumble? It's Friday night Friday dinner. Night. Um, so, yeah, thanks, Stephen Brown, for the crumble. And one dame for the killer glasses. Put the glasses oh, on. Ian, Ian Ian's going to be dome. taking a pair of the one domes away with one him. Uh, so yeah. One uh, Back to the question, before I was so rudely interrupted. Um, <laughs> if you were to say, Ian, 
the best thing about being a guild member if you could just obviously there's a lot of benefits there's a lot of things that you get as being a guild member what would you say was the number one thing that you that you get out of it um there's probably two but there are probably genuinely too many to have one but let me can just I try and answer, answer the question yeah, yeah, you go yeah, for yeah. it okay so um, I've been interviewing uh, that there Ian McKenzie on this on the so far yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah videos will be coming out in a couple of months time uh -huh. and I asked him the same question and he, it was like a, a conveyor belt of we do this we do this we do this and we get this service and you don't have to pay for that you don't have to pay for that and I said the one thing I loved about the guild and don't get me wrong the guild isn't for for everyone no go. No. Other uh, and other clubs are out there that are available. Yeah. But the thing is, is that you come to get. It's like a club of estate agents because running your own business, as you all know, yeah, do. and you know because you run your own business. Yeah. So do I. Yeah. Um, it, it's a lonely old game being running yeah. your own mm -hmm. business. And if yeah. there's someone who who can empathise with you because they do the same job but they're thirty miles away, so they're not competition. That you can pick the phone up, and when you have a quarterly meetings, yeah, yeah. You, there's there's quarterly meetings when all the the guild members come together in the regions there's a lot of seriousness but there's also a lot of banter yeah i yeah. think uh, yeah. that's good that's yeah, sharing it best is practices good. and stuff it yeah. is good yeah. That, that, yeah, that's, that's pretty good that's, yeah. awesome. that's a great point yeah. yeah we do do that so we we go around the country and it makes our life easy because well, there's course. great yeah. agents out there and we just tell other people about it well especially the independents i mean we've worked with quite a few you know from edinburgh to exeter yeah. but a lot of them are, it's a thing. you know, super hard workers, yeah. and they are earning a living. But obviously, there's a slightly bad rep as listers have, and estate agents seem to have. Even well. worse, worse than taxpayers. Yeah. yeah. And interestingly, uh, that leads nicely segue on. No segue, mate. <laughs> into the first Clearly point that we've it. written, because obviously we've spent hours preparing for this, haven't we? Uh, hours. hours. Tell the people hours. at home how long we've we been preparing. You've been here since um, eleven o'clock. Hours. And you've been preparing this. Preparing. Okay. Um, these Forty-two guys, seconds. These guys <laughs> offer free training. Yes. I'm talking face to face arch. Really? With the necks and the valuers of yeah. the FCC. So we've got three or four different platforms for training. So we've got a digital platform where people go and get the associate scheme. Yeah. So they take legislation and training base and they come out with one of these. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. But more importantly, they come out with photo ID, which has been accredited by oh, trading that's standards. That's a good idea. So good, on the, good on the, on the yeah. um, here's my card. And yeah, I've been accredited yeah, yeah, yeah. by the trading standards. Trading standards, they support the guild. So it's really good. Or well, yeah, that, that particular part of the guild. Yeah. Um, we do webinar training, which is makes it convenient. But then every single region, every single month, we do free in the field training um, a hotel coming near you soon yeah. awesome, um, yeah. and we get the regional managers out and they do sales training and product training why so don't you think estate agents are good at training their staff uh, they're all they're all too busy mm. Te they're all right. technically too busy um, it, I, it just frustrates the living daylight Sammy why there isn't more training what is your uptake like on the free free good training? yeah really good is, yeah. Yeah. So yeah they are doing it yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so they do it if, if they don't have to think about the content and they can go along and they can just enjoy it then that's just that's good it, yeah. so by the sounds of it these estate agents need more prop tech to release them no they? they need a Stephen Brown what gets scheduled gets done that's a real thing there you go, there you go. go. what are your thoughts on prop tech I think some of it's uh, so I think there's interaction and transaction Ooh. so any Ooh, big words yeah, I, I know, know, phrases, I know yeah. anything interaction, transaction. anything that's interaction based uh, that improves the process right. is good for prop tech yeah so that's just how you might want to communicate with each other or and other stakeholders other people in the transaction mm -hmm. yeah. but anything that's actually about the transaction in terms of making decisions and asking for guidance and expertise I think that's people Right. I really so you'd, you'd say do more training with your staff as opposed to buy well, a shiny new bit so, of kit. so if you had a new piece of prop tech that made the phone ring, mm. what happens when the phone rings? And how good are the people when they yeah, pick up the phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and what's their conversion rate? Is it one in two or one in 200? Yeah. Mm. So, um, yeah. So I still think it's a people industry. That's true. And I think yeah. that fax machines revolutionised it in the 80s and um, email did in the, in the whenever the 90s or noughties. Or, and yeah. That That's comes, where we are. That comes on quite nicely then too. If you're saying about having the relevant people, the correct people to pick yeah. up the phone, to be on, on the other end when that prop tech does its job. Yeah. Does it do its job though? Well, I don't know. But we're... well, I know we, you and I were at a conference. Uh... He's cutting in again, isn't he? Yes. Is. <laughs> I was literally about Before to ask you a question. Someone's dissing me on YouTube. About to ask a question. Can I ask my, can I ask my question yeah. before we go? I'm interested in this one, Chris. Sorry. So it's not all about you. It's not all about me. <laughs> it's about the it's all about, it's about today. you. It's uh, all about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, go, going back to the right people being on the other end of the phone. Yeah. Do you think they're paid enough? 
We've had this debate today, today didn't we? We have. So pay and earn are two different things. Yes. So, Very true. So Maslow. So it is. Hierarchy Maths of needs. Hierarchy of needs, yeah. indeed. So we Thanks have to recognise that if the if the pay structure is right for the town, so there's different volumes in different towns and there's different commission levels in different towns yeah. and cities and all that sort of thing. But if you assume that you are on a commission base, it is commission, and so that you get paid for success. A bit like so, fine and country. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, they're yeah, all yeah. self-employed. Yeah, yeah. Self yeah. No, not all fine and country. Well, not all, but just Newman's. Sean Newman's. Yeah, Sean, yeah. Sean, yeah. Sean Newman's. Newman's are, yeah. Hi guys. Okay. They're fans of the show. Summer. Matt. Um, so, so you handsome son of a gun. <laughs> he is. Who? Matt Meller. Matt Meller. Suave devil. No wonder he sells houses. Yeah. He's handsome man. So good looking. <laughs> anyway. Bring it back. Sorry. <laughs> right. And see. Man crush. Done. So yeah, done finish. <laughs> so the answer is. So the answer is they earn. It is commission based. Yeah. So you have to recognise that. And do the guys that are running their own businesses actually say to people what their expectations are? Mm. So if you earn, mm. if you go and arrange two valuations a day and five viewings you'll earn 40 grand a year and every day that you don't do that you're not earning that sort of yeah, motivation yeah, 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 yeah. it's just got to be yeah. it is got to yeah motivate can i can i throw in a little bit of a spicy spicy question here? Okay, question grenade okay <laughs> question <laughs> yeah. oh we need the thing go and get the thing get the thing get the well, thing where's the thing it's on the thing go oh, get the thing it's oh, a big thing. studio it's okay. take me ages uh, see you later man bye <laughs> <laughs> Genius. And then you come up, you've got to come up the stairs now. <laughs> hope, Tyson, hope we're still in focus. Hang on, throw in um, the question grenade. It's that one there. Question grenade. Excellent. No expense spared, guys. No expense. You know, <laughs> you lot are the gift that keeps giving. Right, okay. Okay. The tradition, the normal negotiator at the moment is a millennial. Yes. Yeah. Roll the clock back 20 years, and you had Thatcher's children as, as you know, Vauxhall what, Nova. Carol? <laughs> <laughs> she was in the stage. Didn't yeah. realise. Who? Carol Thatcher. Carol Thatcher. No, Thatcher. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hold down. Hold okay, down. Hold okay, down. We, come on. We've got to show Sorry. Here. Sorry. Okay. I forgot this is okay. serious. Do you <laughs> think... Do you think that the snowflake negotiators out there are rough and tough enough and focused enough on money and commission compared to 20 years ago? Yes and no. Right, oh, so so I've got... To, red sorry. and black. Yeah, no, no, no. I've, got, I've got two... So <laughs> everyone's on green. I'm on the zeros. Everybody says about the snowflake generation, they're precious and they can't take criticism because throughout their education they've always won and there's no egg and spoon race. Everybody talks about that. And the wall for 10th place. Yeah, exactly right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the wall, the, wall of Fokker, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the wall of Fokker, wasn't yeah. right? it? Yeah. The wall of Fokker, right? Yeah. Um, but the reality is that if you spend some time and get to know the people, there are some great uh, yes. millennials out there. I've got one working with me now. I've got two daughters that are the hardest Agreed. working people you've ever met in your life. Agreed. If you understand their motivation, you clearly define their target and you and I, I'm a great. Oh, some top tips for us. Yeah, for so, the people out there. So, so valid. So, explain rationally, rationally explain to them the purpose of their action. So, validate what it is they're trying to achieve. You say, if you do this, you'll get that. Rather than just say, just go and do that. Mm. So it is. You've got to explain to them. You've got to train. You've got to check their really? understanding. You've got to um, prepare for them. So people don't like role plays. I love them. I call them rehearsals for reality. So um, go and do some role plays with youngsters because they, like on the they, phones that you're yeah, talking yeah. about. Yeah. Go and do some role plays with them and prepare them for them, and then when they get and then celebrate celebrate failure. So if they, if they get it wrong, celebrate yes. it. Well, yeah, well that is that 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 Ian is exactly right. That is one of my favourite things. I told you he would be good. No, well, I know. I told you he'd be good. Uh, you know, it's he, only because he said it outside. One of my favourite. One of my favourite um, <laughs> business gurus, the wonder that is Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, oh. he, all hell. And Watches Gary's the show regularly. Hi, Gary. Man, if only Gary Vaynerchuk watched my show, I would literally die a happy man. Our show. Um, yeah. Our, our show. show. You know what I mean. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he, he's, he, he says that, that failure is just a, a, a method yeah. for learning. Yeah, you know, and I think that yeah, we, we try and adopt some of that in a business. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah great. It's a really good tip. So, so your, your colleagues just not got to know that you've got their back and that yeah. it's a safe environment to mm. go and make some mistakes because you learn from it and that's fundamentally it. So it's not, a, it's not a case of putting bean bags out and giving them free food. No, no. I don't think it is. I think it's about it's set next. Work for me. <laughs> Yeah, you weren't meant to eat the beanbags. <laughs> hey. I'll tell you what. Sign him up. I'll tell you what. I, I think <laughs> this is time for us to go and see what Steve says. Uh, let's find out what our man on the ground is saying about the local property market. Steve says. 
Shalom. Thanks, Steve. Cheers, Steve. Um, so, uh, I mean, you should run that by me because no. I thought we were going to use uh, the one from before. So, oh, in fact, shameless plug. We didn't really plug this. The, the Watkin Conference, there's going to be many Steve's there. Steve Cox, Steve Wayne, uh, Steve yeah. Frost. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. If you're so watching if you're... and you're called Steve and you're coming to Grantham, we want you on camera saying, Steve says. So, yeah, so become the next Steve. But we also want the current Steve. If you've got a middle name called Steve, that's fine. No, I have to be Steve. Mm, be okay, Steve. let's move on because, again, we've got a show to run. Okay. These people's uh, So uh, now it's time for... Uh, that's the Prop Show. <laughs> 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 Still like a graphic. Thanks, mate. Yeah, it's good. Uh, like okay. airplane. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Um, so the task was fixed. It's a bit, it's a bit ZX81 there, isn't it? Like an Atari. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> Painstaking animation. Um, so, uh, two questions this week. Uh, two questions. Firstly, to Ian. Um, well read there, mate. <laughs> it's on the book. Uh, it's on the book. <laughs> Uh, firstly, to Ian, if you were thinking of joining the guild, yeah, <clears throat> what would push you over the edge? What would encourage you to do so? Um, so the latest guild win campaign would definitely push me over the edge, which is um, a whole host of marketing tips, techniques, trainings, incentives, etc. So cool. have a look at our website. It's on there. So thank you very much. What is the website? Uh, it's guildproperty.co.uk. <laughs> Uh, thanks for that. Could you actually make sure this time that you actually put the proper uh, web address and not a made-up one like last time? Yeah, hang on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so yeah, no expense spared. Okay, um, um, so that's a bit that's shameless good. pluggy. I think yeah, I'm yeah. going to ask him a real, real comment on, on. All right then. What would you do if you are constantly being beaten up by cheap fee estate agents to prove your value and worth as an agent? Okay. <sighs> I would. I ask the questions you want answered. Right. So I would definitely seek differentiation and commercial advantage in the marketplace. Well, what does that mean? Right. Like, that oh, means join on. the guild. So, no. so agents out, agents out there, all talking about yeah, we do viewing feedback and we work seven days a week and we'll return your calls and all how that. How do you other prove? Stuff. Come on. How do you prove as an estate agent that you can get more money for a property than? Somebody else. Okay, Net, a, a network of 800 like-minded agents with referral system in it. Uh, so we share applicants, we share okay. instructions. Come on, let's get down to the integrity. Let's assume that if somebody's in the town yeah. and is already a guild member, what practical advice can you give to them out there to prove to them to, to prove to them that they can prove how they can get more money for a property yeah. than somebody else? Have ah. you got any stories? He said, dropping in, dropping, <laughs> dropping. <laughs> I'm going to write the bloody thing down for you. You didn't tell me you were going to say that, did you? No, because it's, it's live. live. It's not on the board. <laughs> no, it's not. I didn't know we had a board until today. What's <laughs> theirs? Right, so, so um, all, of, all of the agents' websites appear on all of the other agents' websites throughout the uh, UK. Okay. Uh, we've got our own portal with about 75,000 properties on it where we're actually going to the consumer and they can go to one place for that. Brilliant. Although we're not a portal, but it's in addition. Come on, it's not about the guild. Tell me that story you told me in there about that, the, the agent who basically went through all their property sales. Ah, that particular one. Oh, thank you. Right, that's li that is liquid gold, isn't it? That one. Yes, it is liquid right. gold. So, in, but, but <laughs> otherwise, it, I'm going to send the bloody Terminator on you. <laughs> you deliver thank it in you, a different guy. Yeah. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Thanks. 3D, 3D printed. 3D printed. For the show. Yeah. You there talked you about go. traditional versus online before. That's why I didn't pick up. Ah, uh, the well, then I will tell you what. I will apologise. Uh, that's okay. I'm man enough to apologise. Right, so one, one of our guild members in the Midlands did a fantastic piece of work. Um, one particular wet Sunday, uh, Sunday afternoon, they went through all of their offers for 12 months from the first point of offer to the final offer agreed. Okay. And they worked out the increase on average that they delivered on to their customers. Oh, wow. So it was on average £12,500. Twelve and a half. Average so, negotiation from first offer on a property to final offer. That's first amazing. Offer, is it competitive? Yeah. Or? So I so I want to buy your house. I yeah. make an offer yeah. on your house. Hundred grand. Hundred grand. And then the final offer I make on average higher. Me as a negotiator because of him, the estate agent. Yeah. It's twelve and a half thousand pounds higher. 
Wow. That's how you prove, yeah. guys, that if you're up against a cheap fee agent, it's not what the fee is, it's what I'm going to give yeah. for well, your return. Because then you could charge yeah. me 3% if you wanted, and I'd still be quitting. So, yeah. so one of the things we talk about with fee is the principle of fee. Agents at the moment when they're valuing houses don't talk about it, yeah. because they're scared. If I were out there valuing now, I'd be in your living room. I'd be in your living room as the first first over to open. Would say, "Great, show me around in a moment." Blah blah blah. Just one question before we go around. Mm -hmm. um, let's say your house is worth three hundred thousand quid. Yep, three hundred quid. If I could, if I could get you three million pounds for it, would you pay me a million pounds? Yes. Yeah. And you would, wouldn't you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Right. So in the next forty-five minutes, what I'm going to do is two things. Number one is I'm going to show you why we're the right agent, and two, I'm going to show you how we're going to get the best price for you, because then fee becomes irrelevant. Yeah. Of course it does. Oh, are you actually saying by going, this is a, by using the city figures of three million, and would you pay me a yeah. million? You suck them in, so yeah. they're prepared to listen you to you. You take fee out of the issue; it becomes about performance. Mm. It becomes about what oh. they net, what they make out of the transaction. And the, thing, the other thing with fee is agents get so many things wrong with fee. They talk about the principle of fee just about one part of the transaction. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, there's so many other parts of it. Sisters, Solicitors, sorry, conveyancing, sorry. Um, all of that yeah. process. If I can't save you a £1,000 by knowing a better plumber than you know or a water expert or a damp expert, there's mm -hmm. a 1000 quid there. Yeah. Um, I'll negotiate your purchase for you so you're emotionally connected to your purchase. I'm not. Yeah. I'll save you money on your purchase. All of those different things. Excellent. Mm. Those I've different. seen a couple of That's really clever. good These videos. Top tips. I've, seen a couple, gold. I've seen a couple of really good videos on the Land and Farm Group, actually, um, where agents have interviewed or done sort of quick videos with people who they've sold the houses for. Yeah. There was one I saw, um, I forget the name of the chap, he's a relatively new Land and Farming member, but he did a film uh, video online um, where the basically the seller was so thrilled with, with his work yeah. recommending him to other people in the area right um, perfect but, uh, but that is Big exactly video. right he's added mm, yeah. he's the, added a lot of value yeah, yeah. by being hands on in that process yeah, yeah. she had the property on the market I think for, for, for six months or something with another yeah. agent and he'd sold within three weeks yeah. for more than for, for, yeah. for what she was wanting yeah, for that's great. well, well interestingly I'm working with a few of my clients at the moment uh, with some interview techniques because it would none of us believe that I use this estate agent and it changed my life no, no one likes rubbish. that but if you take them through the journey oh yeah um, and, and actually you need to take the journey back to when they bought the house oh, yeah, that's yeah. really important yeah mm -hmm. and by doing that I've just done that for an agent down oh. in, in well you, you yes. guys edited it yes great yeah, film yeah. wasn't it yeah it was yeah. so um, that'll be coming out in a few months Kerry Kerry you've also one. been that's the end of the prop show so uh, that's the prop show so thanks okay. man. <laughs> um, so um, you've been you've Four been ca more. catching up with uh, you've been catching up with a load of people uh, in the industry uh, you were with Ed Mead Ed in, in the summer yeah and you actually spoke about uh Oh, here we go. What did you speak about with Ed Mead? Countrywide price shares, all right? He did, so let's okay. have a little video uh, for a crisp bit, Ed Mead. Here's Ed Mead. Ed, I'm in my mature age, I know I don't look it, but I'm in my 40s, 50s and 60s. I'd probably take an early retirement. What can I do as a job? Talk to me. Well, uh, what we've discovered is that there are plenty of people of that sort of age who... Um, actually, I'm going to put this a different way. I remember when I first had the idea for Viewer, and I went to a lady called Anne Ashworth, who's the editor of Bricks and Mortar, uh, who I know, and I was talking to her about it. She said, do you know what, that's brilliant. She said, everyone in this country thinks they know more than their estate agent. And this is their chance to prove it. Now, that's obviously a, a, a little bit of a joke, but people love property. And from it's, our, a, it's a national obsession. Well, it is a national obsession, and and there are there's a huge number. There are a huge number of people out there who may have retired or want to add a little bit of extra income to what they do. And to give you some idea of who our viewers are, as I said, the average age probably is in the sort of mid forties, but they tend to be retired policemen. A third of our people are ex estate agents. Um, they can be stay-at-home mums, local professionals who want to work at weekends, earn a bit of extra money. You know, we pay anything between 10 and 20 quid for these guys to go around the corner and open up a door. They do a few of those a week. It just adds extra money for them. I, I bet it's damn good fun looking around people's houses. Well, they, they tend to get to know the local properties that they're showing for the agents quite well. Um, they like it because they get a variation of different um, estate agents and different types of properties. Um, it's old-fashioned gig economy stuff, or should I say newfangled gig economy stuff, yeah, yeah. rather than old-fashioned. And because it's not their principal source of income, they just dip in and out. Uh, they can accept the job if they want to. Um, it works really well for them. So from our perspective, we've, we, we don't have too many problems in terms of people coming in uh, wanting to be viewers. 
but only about 30, 35% of them get accepted as viewers because we that? vet them. Well, we vet them. We do DBS checks. Uh, we do a video interview. We do the usual um, uh, identity checks, passport and utility bills. And of course, we do a bank transfer to check that they've got a bank account in their own names. So we're going to have to pay them. So all of those things are, are fairly powerful. But the other thing that polices this all the time is that they get rated on the feedback. So in other words, if, if you as the agent gets the feedback, we, after a viewing, we ask the agent to rate the feedback out of five stars. So they consistently keep that up. So if a viewer falls below four stars more than once, one of our community team is on the phone finding out what the problem is, and we just deselect them if they're not good enough. Oh, and what skills, and more, not necessarily skills, what attitude are you looking for in these people? Uh, you can imagine that a retired policeman, for instance, would be brilliant. Punctual, mm. takes notes, listens. Ex-forces? Uh, a lot of ex-forces. Um, uh, we just w want people who are presentable um, and, what and, do you think and, they and get responsible. Out of it? What do you think they get out of it? I think it's a variation in their life. I think they just quite like the idea of looking around at people's properties. But more importantly, they're just, they, they feel they're doing, a local, a, a, they're doing a local service and earning a bit of extra money. And, and meeting people. Yeah, I mean, I think it does take, you're quite right, Chris, it does take a certain sort of person to be able to interact with members of the public they've never met. Um, but there are plenty of estate agents out there. There are plenty of viewers who are good at doing that as well. Good stuff. So what would you say to anyone who's looking for a part-time role? Should they go to your website and have a look at that? And yeah, if they just go to viewer.co.uk, they can register and someone will be in touch very quickly with them to put them through registration. Thank you very much. Thanks, Chris. Cheers. Check them out. I tell you, I love that Viva service. Yeah, it is a good service, the Viva. So simple. Clever. He's, um, he's an intelligent guy. Sounds yeah, like he's, he's got yeah. his expert on. And uh, to be honest, there's, there's some good, actually, if you want to watch the rest of the Edmeets uh, films, they'll be, they'll be on your channel. They should be out by now. Yeah, they should be out by now. And um, yeah, some of the some of the films about Foxtons um, and why they have such grand, great brand rate recognition in London and stuff. Oh, good, good. Really good. There's some, some good content in there. Well worth a watch. And it's free, so... Yeah. On the uh, YouTube channel. On, on the YouTube. The, the YouTube. On the YouTube. Uh, cool. <laughs> Maybe um, we could put the URL here. To your YouTube channel. Yeah, but could you make sure you ask me what the YouTube, the URL is so you can put it on? We'll put, okay. We'll put yeah, it not the, make it up. We'll put it in the comments below. <laughs> well, we, I think we're using tiny URLs. No, so. no one types those in. Shh. Of course they do. What are we doing today? <laughs> no. It's, I, it's YouTube dot com forward slash c forward slash Christopher Watkin Grantham. I thought I'd give that to you because you're not going to listen okay. to me after the show, are you? There we go. That's going to write it down, but you've already done it. It's done. Yeah. Well, you can listen to it, aren't you? Hopefully. Listen to the audio, yeah. Okay, yeah. Then. And then we're just... Okay. What else we got to say? Come on, what else uh, in the show? So that, we're, we're... that was it. So uh, literally that's the end of the show other than to say... Uh, well, that's that Sanjay's, Sanjay's going to come on um, to talk about Sanjfest. Um, very exciting news... Tell us, tell, tell, tell our viewers the exciting news. Uh, we go down the pub later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not exciting news. It we're, is. We're, I'm we're, really excited about it. We're going to be taking the prop show live. Live. Prop show live. Prop show 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 road show. Prop show no show show live road show. on live. stage in Covent Garden in front of three or four hundred people. Brilliant. I'll bring the fez. No, he wants you to bring everything. I'll bring the feds. I'll but bring the feds. But we're going to have... Sit, maybe we're I should gonna have, sign the feds. We, I might have to... I'll tell you what. Guess who... Well, who who is that? It? Who's our special guest, Chris? Sir Tom of Panos. Is going to be our guest on the pop show. Uh, and I'm going to have... I might have him sign my feds. <gasps> that's a good shout. Yeah, that's a good I might shout. have him sign the feds. Have, we can't oh, take, I, we can't take the table I, on the train, though. No, no. we can't take the table. I'm sure they've got tables in London. Do they have crumble in London? And we'll have to put that in the bag. Uh, and some more oh, crumble yesterday. Oh, we should give Mr. Tom Panos a pair of one-day sunglasses. What's it? What's it? Good eye, Mike. Good eye, Mike. To be fair, it's pretty sunny in Australia. And they are cool. So you need filters as well. Yeah, they are. Uh, so thanks Iconic Engineering for our awesome new prop um, for the show 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 thanks um, to Homer Simpson thanks to, um, Leonardo to today. Stephen Brown for the crop but a huge thanks a huge thanks for the big dog himself oh, we've got one question we always ask oh. what would you change about the industry oh yes ah yeah just quick we ask everyone that so yeah the perception from the general public. Yes. Okay. And how, would you, and how would making you it a cooler industry to work in? No, just frustrates the living daylights out. I mean, there's so many great agents out there that do a great job, and yet we're yeah. we're um, belittled. 
So um, it's probably through regulation, dare yeah. I say it? It's such a huge industry, why is it regulated? Yeah, it probably is, yeah. um, because I just think there's so many great agents that do a great job, so yeah. that's the one thing I'd change. We agree yeah, with that. Yeah. yeah, We agree wholeheartedly mm, with that. Yeah. We've met some fantastic people in well, the last well, two years. When you interviewed <laughs> Sally Lawson, she said what one of her aims would be for a sixth former to leave school, yeah. and really want to be yeah. that is yeah. a yeah. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. Matt Giggs, Matt Giggs is keen to yeah. do that as well. Change yeah. his perception as well because yeah. you know, and because of the, the real t- and so he was on the show show. Uh, yeah, so he was, was on the show show. As was Luke Sinclair. Luke's yeah. keen to try and change that perception yeah. as well. Um, you know, all of these people who are industry leaders. Yeah. Well, that's um, one really thing I love about the guild is is that is that it's a lonely old game being in the state agency, and if you can just bring us all together. Mm. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, um, big thank you on behalf yeah. of the industry yeah. for bringing. Because, um, off the record, Ian's been telling me what the guild do in the, in the backgrounds with government and things like that, shaping the industry. Uh, yeah, it's just amazing. Fantastic. Amazing. So direct that, line to the big guys. That's it. Yeah, yeah that's we're it. trying. Yeah. So, um, there's only one maybe thing to you, do. Maybe you, at your next event, can bop onto the stage to Dancing Queen. Maybe that's it. <laughs> Is that a thing? That's a thing. <laughs> I might do a better job. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you couldn't have done a worse one. Uh, so thanks to Ian. Cheers, thank you very much. Thanks Ian. So that's it. So that's the end of the show. So we've just got to say thanks and shout out!